Hello class, this is Miss Augustine. We are going to talk about scientific notation today. So you probably have used scientific notation before, and I'm just going to run through it fairly quickly. Um, but when we get to using your calculator with scientific notation, I have some tips for you. So first of all, scientific notation is used for very big and very small numbers in science. And using scientific notation, a number is written as the product of two numbers. So let's look at the format used for scientific notation. m times 10 raised to the n power, where m is the coefficient, and that's a number between 1 and 10. This is important to put things correctly into scientific notation. There's only one digit to the left of the decimal point, and n is an integer. So how do we use um, significant figures when we're doing scientific notation? So we've talked in the previous uh, video about sig figs being very important when you report anything in uh, scientific measurements. And so what do you do about sig figs? So it turns out that m, the coefficient, is what we use to communicate the correct number of sig figs in the measurement. So the exponential part is not part of the sig figs. So if you need one sig fig or two sig figs or three sig figs, you communicate that using the coefficient part, the m. So now let's look at a number that is given to you here in so-called standard no notation, and let's talk about getting it into scientific notation. So for starters, you're going to insert, in this case, the understood decimal point, since there is no decimal point. So there it is. Then you have to ask yourself, where should the decimal end up so that there's only one digit to its left? And so that's going to be between the 2 and the 5. So now we just need to figure out how many places we need to bounce the decimal point to get it where we need it to be. So we're going to do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So now that we know that we have to move the decimal 9 places, we can rewrite in the form of m times 10 to the n. So that would be 2.5 times 10 to the 9th, where the exponent tells you the number of places that you had to move the decimal. And again, in this case, the decimal is a positive number because the number we started with was quite a bit greater than 1. So if the uh, power of 10 is a positive number, the number that you started with in standard notation was greater than 1, and if the power of 10 is a negative integer, then the number you started with was less than 1. So here's another one. Locate the decimal point. It's there. And then decide where it must end up so that there's only one digit to its left, so between the 5 and the 7. And now count how many places you bounce the decimal point to get it there. So it looks like we have to bounce it 5 places. Um, and so then we rewrite this in the m times 10 to the n format, and so that would give us 5 times 10, 5.79 times 10 to the minus 5. Now, um, the exponent is a negative number because the number we started with was less than 1. So here's a couple more examples. If you started out with the number 45,000, it would be written as 4.5 times 10 to the 4, 1, 2. 3, 4, and if we started with 0. 0.00045, the decimal goes here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 to the minus 4 in this case. I also like to point out that this number had two sig figs, and this number has two sig figs, and this number had two sig figs, and this number had two sig figs. So when you're converting a measurement between standard and scientific notation, you do not change the number of sig figs that were in the measurement. Um, you're not making a new measurement, and so the number of sig figs does not change. And here, one more example, 53,000. We would rewrite that. We're moving the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5.3 times 10 to the 4 
and in this case the coefficient is 5.3 and the exponent is 4 because we bounce the decimal four times. And so just to summarize, if the number you started with was greater than 1, your power of 10, your exponent is going to be a positive number. And if the number you started with was less than 1, your exponent is going to be a negative number. And again, I'm going to stress that the number of significant figures in a measurement does not change when you're converting between standard and scientific notation. So for now, this is Ms. Augustine signing off.